He always keeps good. Alright, Dad. It was awesome, although we didn't see anything, we saw squirrels. It was scary getting in the deer stand because I thought it was going to fall off. He came home with a thing and I'm like, what is this about? And he goes, I don't know, I'm supposed to be going hunting, I got picked or whatever. And I'm like, okay. So I filled everything out and he's like, what am I supposed to write? And I was like, I don't know, just write. Why do you think you need to go hunting? So he wrote, because he's a good student, he gets straight A's, and he's a Boy Scout. I put that I get good grades, I listen, um, I have a lot of patience, and I've never been hunting before. Well, my mom didn't tell me, she didn't tell me we were going shopping until she told me on the way here. She said, we're going somewhere. I said, okay, where are we going? And she said, I can't tell you that. And I said, well, I, I guess I'm going there. I just got to find you. <laughs> <laughs> how you how you feel about this trip? Pretty good. Pretty good. A lot. That's supposed to be for him. Oh, I got him backwards. We got him backwards. This yeah, one fit him. This one fit him though. It does, but you want him to grow in it too. Uh, <laughs> okay. Of course, I was able to take Lily out of the shop and look at him in Pennsylvania. And so now we're able to take the other kids out that came on the hunt the first time. We brought them on the shopping spree, so they're getting their hunting gear and stuff together. And, uh, and everything's working out great. They've been having a ball. <laughs> when I was a kid, uh, my dad started me hunting fish. And of course, I used to always watch the hunting show. And, you know, I wish I could do that. You know, I could fish with them, and why don't they take me fishing? You know? And so uh, I've always loved the outdoors. And, uh, so uh, that, that's my background. And I've been doing it since I was able to ride a bike. I can remember times my dad would get up from work and uh, take me fishing. And actually, he would fall asleep and I would be fishing. So, you know, I, I just love the outdoors. <laughs> Ever since I've been with Academy Sports and Outdoors, it is, um, it's in our nature, it's in our DNA to, uh, to deep, be deeply rooted into the grassroots community. And what better way to be involved with the community uh, than to uh, develop a partnership with the local um, sheriff and the local police department um, and really kind of send the message to the community that we're all in this together. Um, and it's really exciting to have this partnership with them and, and really all, all the credit goes to the sheriff's department and to Alex and all those uh, that have reached out to these kids to create this event. Mr. Sheriff, can I pull you away for a second? Yes, sir. You must be your camera more. Uh -oh. I'll talk to you in private, sir. Come on over here. Listen, on behalf of the Academy, we thank you for everything you've done by bringing. You've really endorsed the store here these last couple weeks, and uh, you brought these kids in, which is amazing. Um, on behalf of Academy, we'd like to give you this jacket. Are you so, absolutely, man. <laughs> so, uh, on behalf of Academy, hopefully you like it. Hopefully it fits. So, <laughs> man, Did that work? That's yours, man. Thank you, man. Thank you.